how to make it so viewers can pop up an image or a sound or anything else with a chat command. Let's jump right into it. In this video, we're gonna use Semibot. Semibot needs a setup first, so I recommend you watching the setup for Semibot right here before we start with this tutorial. You done that? Okay, let's go. So in Semibot, we need to make a new deck. So I'm just gonna make this new deck. We're gonna click on it. I'm just gonna call this tutorial because it's a tutorial. Okay, what we wanna do is we wanna have an image pop up. So what we need to do is we need to add an image to the scene. We can either do that on the scene itself or we can make a scene with all the pop-ups and we can add that scene to multiple scenes. I like this method better because this way you can easily add them to multiple scenes instead of having to add the whole thing over and over. So this is the scene we want the images to pop up and we're just gonna make a new scene, pop-ups. Then here we're gonna add the things that we want to be able to pop up. So for example, an image. We're gonna browse our files to find one. For example, see that here. And we're gonna click on okay. We're gonna position it right where we want it. So for example, we want it to pop up here. We're gonna lock it. We're gonna make it invisible. Maybe you wanna do it with a sound instead. So let's add a sound instead. Media source. We're gonna browse for sound. I found a sound, we're gonna click on okay. We don't hear the sound ourselves right now, so we want to go to advanced properties and we wanna make sure that we, we can hear it ourselves. We have the media source tutorial, which is our sound, and we can either set it on monitor only or monitor and output. If you record your headset, you can put it on monitor only. If you don't record your headset, so your desktop audio, you're gonna put it on monitor and output. Okay, let's make it invisible and visible again. That works. We're gonna make it invisible. Make sure to lock them, by the way. So we have an image, we have a media sound. What can we else? Maybe a video. So media source, media source, video, tutorial. Okay. We're gonna browse them, like this clip. Gonna make sure that it's like fitting wherever we want it to be. We're gonna lock it. And again, we need to set the audio settings. So we're gonna put that one. Again, on monitor only again. Okay, sound seems to be good. And I make it invisible. So we have an image that can pop up, a sound. And they got a video. You can use any of these formats. It doesn't really matter. Now we have these in place. What we can do is we're gonna go to the scene we want them to pop up. Click on plus, click on scene. And add the scene, add assisting that we put everything in, which was called pop up. So we're gonna add that in. If we pop up this video here, we go to this scene. We can see that the video is playing here too. Now, what we need to do is go to our semi deck and make a new button. Create a button. We can right click and edit appearance. We're gonna label this one uh, TDAD. I'll save. No, this one is called TDAD. Create a button. This is gonna be the video. Make sure that you call them that you can remember what it does. And then this one is gonna be the music. So we want these to be able to be triggered by the Twitch chat. What we need to do is we need to edit a triggers. Click on the plus. Twitch chat. Okay, so we can set a, a specific username to be the one that needs to trigger this, but we can also not do that. We can just have a message, message tdad, tdag, tdad, <laughs> exclamation mark tdad. We can say we only allow mods, subscribers, founders, FIPS, or broadcasters, but I'm just gonna leave it open for everybody. If you want them to be restricted, you can do that right here. You can make it case sensitive if you want people to you know, have the T be capitalized. Make sure that you remove this asterisk. Is it called asterisk? I'm not sure how it's called, but remove these. And now we're gonna save this. If the pistol appears, that means that there's a trigger there. We're gonna do that for this one too. Twitch chat, exclamation mark video. Now these go off when we trigger them on Twitch. However, they don't know what to do yet. So we're gonna click on this, double click. Now we get this window, which it looks very scary at first, but don't worry about it. We're just gonna click on the plus and then OBS commands. And then we wanna change the source visibility. Source change visibility, which is the scene. It's gonna be the scene pop-ups, not the scene that we want them to pop up because to keep it clean, we kept them all in one scene. I need to fix something really quick because I was using two OBSs and it was basically grabbing the wrong scene collections right here. So make sure that your OBS and the scene collections are on the right scene collections you want to use. Okay, so the scene name was pop-ups. So we're going to search pop-ups. Pop-ups. And the source name uh, was image tutorial. Image tutorial. You can also have a delay, but we want to just to be instantly visible. 
What I want to do then is I want to turn it back off because otherwise it stays on. So we're going to do that again. We can copy this and then paste it here and then unvisible. And we're going to need to say like how many milliseconds is it going to be staying on? Let's say 3000 milliseconds and then click on save and okay. We're going to do that for the video as well. We're going to double click on it at OBS command source visibility. We're going to select here pop-ups. We can type by the way, makes it a lot easier. Pop-ups. This is the one source name. It was the video visible. And then we're going to copy this, paste it here, make it unvisible. But now we need to know how long does the video actually take to find out what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to this place. As I see the video takes 60 seconds. So I'm just going to say, I need to turn it back off after 60 seconds. Save. Okay. The music seems like the music takes nine seconds. Yeah. Nine seconds for the music. So we're double click on here. We can paste this like this and then just select the music source. Cause we still had it pasted. Unvisible after nine seconds, uh, I believe 9,000 milliseconds. Okay. And now we can test this. If you want to render command, make sure that you are in this main menu and you've saved your deck. And then you have opened your semi bridge and it's connected. If you don't know how to do this, again, I will refer to the setup video for semi. Now we can go to our own chat. Now if we type exclamation mark T dad and press enter, we're going to go here. Whoop. You see the T dad has appeared and it's going again. And then if we do exclamation mark video, you can hear it already. It started right here and we'll stop. Eventually. It's me playing Zelda, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. If you guys want to see more of this gameplay, I do have a gameplay channel where I play all these cool games on. So I'll leave that down below in the description or in a tag or anything. It's just youtube.com slash true gameplay. No. And now it stopped out of itself. Okay, cool. We also had the music. Let's see if that works. This is how you can trigger music, images, and videos with chat commands using Semibot. If you want to do more cool things with Semibot, I'll refer to this video where I explain more cool things with Semibot.